Hey guys, this is always back with another video on the channel. Uh, in this quick video, I want to show you one particular command in Git. I was actually trying to pull a repository. Every time I do a Git pull, it asks me for my username and password. So if I type my username and password, now it's going to say all good. Now, every time I do a Git pull, it's going to ask me the same thing, which is annoying. I want to cache the username and password for a certain amount of time. So it Git basically stores that uh, and then it doesn't ask me for a certain period of time. So I'm going to take you to a documentation so you know where I am getting this from. So here's the command git config credential dot helper and you have an option cache and you can pass in a timeout there. Uh, down this page, here's an example. Okay, so let's go back to the code. And I'm gonna type here. Let's just use the old command there. And I'm gonna type dash dash timeout equal to, I'll say 3600. Okay, now if I type git all, it's going to ask me a uh, username and password. So let's type that. That's good. So if I use this git cache again, I'm gonna type git pull now. And there you go. It doesn't ask me for a certain period of time. And another thing I could do is because it's 3600, which is going to be lasting for, uh, I don't know how many, but to do it 24 hours, I would just add 24, 3600. Enter, and this is going to cache my username and password for 24 hours. So if I, I git fetch now or any git commands which access the remote, it's basically going to use that cache username and passwords, which is great. So if any one of you having these issues, here you go, there's a solution. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.